saying and for showing up. Um, I am going to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is the uh, Dao Zhao and how it's used in traditional uh, Chinese medicine. Now, TCM is used by the, uh, the majority of the world's population, and it is a holistic system that has been developed over uh, thousands of years uh, through trial and error. Uh, it's still used today uh, by many people in China and also in other parts of the world as well. As a holistic medicine, there are different approaches that are used in TCM, such as probably what some of you are familiar with, such as acupuncture and cupping, but also herbal medicine, which is an important component of TCM. Um, for many of us here, I'm sure we're familiar with the fact that plants produce uh, secondary compounds, also called secondary metabolites. And these metabolites are beneficial because they help plants interact with the world. And that's why I'm on the plant biologist and this is my area of study. And so for plants being sessile organisms without a nervous system, they have to be able to communicate with other organisms and basically get their point across. And they do so through these secondary compounds. Now many of these secondary compounds um, are bioactive, meaning they have an impact on cells and tissue and the physiology of other organisms. And not a surprise, many pharmaceutical companies and medical research then look, for, look at plants and the secondary compounds that they produce as a guide for, uh, to develop new drugs. And indeed, about 25% of Western drugs are based on these bioactive compounds. Now, Dip Da Jiao is a liniment used in traditional Chinese medicine and it's used to treat impact trauma. Um, there are many different formulations, some of which are taken internally and others that are applied as an external liniment. But the, what they have in similarity is that they all contain a variety of herbs, fungi, and insects, which are cooked, soaked, and then aged in an alcohol solvent, hence the wine component of wine and pit wine. Now, aging ostensibly creates a stronger gel, and indeed there are stories about people digging up um, old ancient jowls of jar and how they're highly sought after. And these recipes for dip dog jowl tend to be secretive, so they're like guarded family secrets. Now what might not be a surprise then is that martial artists tend to use dip dog jowl for the obvious reason to treat impact trauma, but also for use in, in a process called fist conditioning, which I'll talk about here in a moment. Uh, martial artists often obtain their job from long martial lineage which are like martial arts families consisting of um, your, your teacher, your brothers and sisters, your aunts and uncles and grandparents in a larger martial family. And so the teacher would obtain their dip dot job recipe from their teacher who received it from their teacher. And when they want to make the dip dot job recipe, they or uh, dip dot job bash, they would take the recipe to TCM herbalists, obtain the ingredients, and then make um, a batch of jow and then distribute this jow to their students. Now, of course, nowadays you can actually buy Dita Jiao online. So if you go to Google and you type in Dita Jiao, you can find all kinds of formulation promising to do all of these wondrous things for your for your system and your health as a martial artist. Now, martial artists typically use uh, Dita Jiao to stimulate healing and blood flow, of course, to reduce pain, bruising, and swelling, and also to strengthen soft tissue and bones, which relates to this condition. Wing Chun is a system of Chinese martial arts. It's principally a striking, or it is a striking martial art, meaning they use their fists, <laughs> like their fists in the coffee. And it utilizes fist conditioning to create what's called a stone fist. And so fist conditioning would include um, like striking a heavy bag or a wall bag filled with sand and small rocks um, to help the practitioner learn how to punch, but also to strengthen the muscles and tendons and create that stone fist by increasing bone density. Now Yip Man, who is a famous grandmaster, some of you might be familiar with the movies created about Yip Man or by the fact that he taught Bruce Lee. Now he inherited Lung Jung's Dip Da Jiao formula and then passed down that recipe to his martial lineage. And so here is one uh, Wing Chun martial lineage here, which, start, which starts off with Yip um, Wing Chun who who she developed a Wing Chun system. Here's Sun <coughs> here and Yip Man, who passed down his recipe to Moyant and then to Dunhua and to Sifu Wing Chun and here with us today. 
Martial artists apply this jowl externally to their fist, for example, obviously for uh, impact trauma, but also uh, for daily use in before and after fist conditioning to help expedite the healing process. So, based on our knowledge of how martial artists use Zita Jiao in their practice, and the fact that there are stories about a younger Jiao versus older Jiao, and that the older Jiao um, may be stronger and have better properties, and also the fact that nowadays you can just buy Zita Jiao online. So we ask these questions such as, are there bioactive molecules that are beneficial for impact trauma and fist conditioning in dip jiao used by martial artists, particularly Wu Chun practitioners? And then, if there is a difference between the aged batches, and if there is a difference between traditionally prepared dip jiao and also uh, the commercial formulation that you can just buy online. So we used a full spectrum gas chromatography mass spectrometry to identify uh, molecules particularly focusing on the bioactive molecules present in the jowl. Um, in two batches of traditionally prepared lung junks jowl, one aged for one year and another aged for five years. And then this randomly selected commercial formulation which promises everything. Um, I'm not going to talk about the specific ingredients because we need to protect the confidentiality of these recipes. So what did we find? Well, I think some pretty, pretty neat results here. So these are two gas chromatographs, one for the one-year jowl and the other for the five-year jowl. And what I'm going to point out here are the peaks. So on the right side of the chromatograph are the peaks for the larger molecules. And on the left side of the chromatograph are peaks for smaller molecules. And so what you should be able to notice here is that in the one-year jowl, you see this plethora, of many different um, large molecules present in the jowl relative to the five-year jowl, which does not have the, those large molecules present. But what it does have are those smaller bioactive molecules, which we'll talk about here in a moment. What about the commercial jowl? What did we find? Well, I'm going to keep up this five-year jowl chromatograph so you can see all the peaks and the smaller peaks that you might find in an organic liniment versus the commercial jowl. Now, this is a, a blown-up um, chromatograph of the commercial jowl. So this is time on the y-axis. So this goes to about one hour, and which would be equivalent to about here. And what you notice are a few peaks, and it's just how the line is flat, meaning there's really just not much there, and then what's there are really specific compounds. As if somebody took something like uh, an essential oil and put it in, in a wine, for example, or an alcohol solvent and bottled it. So what are those peaks? What are those molecules that we found? Well, if we look at a partial list, again, we want to protect the integrity and confidentiality of the recipes, but here's a partial list of bioactive compounds found in the gel. So this is for the five-year gel, and there are a, a number of those smaller molecules that are beneficial for impact trauma and skin conditioning. And so we find, for instance, an analgesic to help with pain, an antiseptic to help clean the wounds, anti-inflammatory, and even rhododendron, which helps increase skin elasticity in the skin, which of course would be necessary for those repeated blows on the fist um, to help protect the skin. Now in the wonder gel, we found some different molecules. Uh, coumarin is a shared molecule, so providing that analgesic and in the antiseptic. But also what I find is interesting, the salicylic acid, which you might know is good for skin, right? It helps condition the skin and rejuvenate the skin. And also is good to treat calluses, big calluses on your fist over time. But how about those large molecules? Well, the GC mass spec we used was unable to identify the large molecules, and that's a topic of an ongoing investigation right now, so we use a different GC mass spec. But based on uh, some other evidence that we have, complementary evidence, we think that at least some of those molecules are beneficial for bone health, to help protect against uh, the development of osteoporosis. And some of that evidence would be just our own knowledge of the that are used to create the Dinja Jiao and the large bioactive molecules that have been identified in those particular ingredients that have been shown in the medi uh, medical literature to be beneficial for bone health. Now, the commercial Jiao, like the uh, graph of gas chromatograph indicated, just really didn't have very much in it at all. It had salicylic acid, which is good for skin conditioning, and also as a and also the acetic acid. So it's, it's beneficial for superficial inflammation and 
same condition. But then when we look at all of the gels together, and instead of looking at particular ingredients or bioactive molecules, let's look at the number of properties that each of the gel possesses. And so the traditionally prepared gel has a number of properties that are beneficial for martial artists, such as the analgesic, the anti-inflammatories, the astringent, um, stain conditioners, and then potentially these bone health molecules, which would be beneficial again to help protect the fist as they undergo this condition. Versus a commercial gel, which had a few that were beneficial. So overall, all these formulations and batches that we looked at contain really wonderful smelling and aromatic compounds. Think like degrading earth and strawberries, just really rich in the smell. But also compounds that are antibacterials and anti-inflammatory properties. But what was really distinct and interesting was that the differences between the one and the five year gel, which was caused, of course, by the aging process. So they all start out the same, the ingredients are cooked, but then they degrade over time and reactions occur, releasing uh, bioactive molecules into the liniments. And this is important because of how martial artists use the gel gel. Because they value the one year and the five year gel differently and use them for slightly different purposes. So again, they're both beneficial for treating superficial wounds, etc. But the one-year gel had the additional com uh, compounds in it that are beneficial for treating minor cuts, for example, that one might get from a little bit of overuse on the heavy bed, and then fist conditioning molecules, which are beneficial for bone health. That supports the traditional use of dip dog gel by martial artists because the one-year gel is typically used for daily use and for fist conditioning, both before and after. Whereas the five-year gel, an older, would be reserved for maybe a little bit more serious injuries. We're not talking about a compound fracture, just a little bit more than one would experience during the fist conditioning process. And then this commercial gel, this particular one, just kind of looks like um, a knockoff, where it has a few beneficial components in it, but not the full complement of properties that one would find in the traditionally prepared gels. So overall, based on historical and continued use of dip dog gel by martial artists, and also based on the clinical trials on the efficacy of dip dog gel on treating impact trauma that you can find in the Chinese literature. So you don't see anything about dip dog gel in the English literature, but when you go to the Chinese literature, you do find studies that do show that dip dog gel is beneficial for impact trauma. And then combined with these study results of this particular uh, type of dip dog gel within this particular family lineage, that Lungjian's dip dog gel seems to be beneficial for the typical impact trauma and this conditioning experienced by Lungjian practitioners, which then supports the traditional way that they've been using dip dog gel for a very long time. So, I'd like to thank Sifu Wing Helena, again, who is with us here in our family lineage of Yip Nan Moya and Sun Wing for access to the dip dog gel and allowing us to examine and again, just thank you for assistance with the GC mask. Uh, thank you. We'd be happy to answer any questions.